Is this going to get through? Do you know, looking at the number of people in the Lords today, I'm not, I voted not content to this amendment before I came here. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I think this bill could be killed on, on, on the, the, the numbers of Liberal Democrats and Labour turning out to spike it. And what would then happen if it is killed? What would the government then do, do you think? Well, I, unless the government brings something forward in the next session, which will be the last session of this parliament, mm. um, clearly they can put a manifesto pledge forward at the manifesto. But I think one of the, the strengths of this bill is that the body politic has let people down, of all parties. People want a referendum, we know that. People have promised a referendum of all parties for many years, and every time there's a reason why not to. And if this bill was passed, and it was with all party support, as of course it was when it went through the Commons with all party support, then at least the public would know that whatever the outcome of the next general election, they're going to get their say. But in a sense, has it not been a, a public relations exercise for Mr Cameron? The politicians know that the public don't believe them. And he wanted to do something to show, I really, really, really mean we're going to have a referendum. So he wanted to get this through this side of the election. But you will know that this parliament cannot bind the next parliament. It could easily have been repealed by the next parliament. It could. And in fact, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say uh, um, that I, I don't envisage that if it did get through, that when it actually came to putting it into practice, there wouldn't be some slight revision of it. Uh, I mean, the date's got to be set for a start. Yes. There's quite a lot of tweaking needed to it, but it's the underlying principle to the people of this country that what they have clearly stated that they want, and that is a say on the EU matter, and when it went through the Commons, there was no opposition to it at third reading, there was no opposition from Liberal Democrats and Labour at second reading, uh, you would believe that both those key parties were in favour of it. And yet now it's in the Lords, there's over 80 amendments down. We, I think we dealt with five of them in two and a half hours this morning, so work that out. I think we'll still be there tomorrow morning if we were to do it all today. But clearly there is now an attempt to frustrate it and kill it. And the, the difficulty, Andrew, is, I think, for Labour and Lib Dems, that they don't really want their party's fingerprints all over it. So they get good old timers <laughs> like dear old George, who you've just interviewed, who's a past master at the filibuster with a very straight face and others who actually don't, want to, don't really want a referendum to try and kill this off in the Lords. Right, well, Liz, we, we thank you for leaving the Lords to come over and join. Are you going back to vote again this I'm afternoon? going back to vote many times, I expect, today. Many, many times. All right, Angela <laughs> Brown, thank you very thank much. You.